Uh, which one's your favorite animation and story-wise? Um, out of all the Pokemon movies, animation-wise and story-wise, I really loved the first movie. Yeah. And um, I thought it had the strongest message. I thought they got better and better as they went along. Um, so, so, but if I had to choose one, it would be the first movie. And it's pretty intense, actually. Um, I think what it deals with is, I, I don't know, figuring out who you are and your purpose. That's pretty deep for a bunch of kids to go see a movie about that. Um, so I really love that. So yeah. we got one back here. Okay. What's your favorite um, legendary Pokemon? ho oh is my favorite legendary, for sure. Um, plus, I do love how beautiful it is and quiet as it flies along. I have to go in airplanes a lot lately, so I like the, how quiet it is. Um, how did you find your voice for Ash? Is there any inspirations that you took to find his voice? Yeah, when we auditioned, we actually got to listen to the original Japanese, and they wanted the voices to be similar. But, um, so I kind of based it on that, and then I also thought about Rudolph in those stop-action Christmas specials. Um, you know, she thinks I'm cute! It's all kind of there, and, um, Spridle from Speed Racer. So I kind of think of all of that. My brother was 10 at the time, so it's kind of, in my mind, it's an amalgamation of all of those. Your least favorite Pokemon? Um, I would probably say, even though I don't actually have a least favorite, um, I like, I like to, I like to, to say I like to make fun of, it's kind of mean, but Snorlax is really, I don't not like him, but I just think he's so funny. And how every time there's no water flowing into a town, they're like, what could it be? And it's Snorlax blocking the whole thing. So that's kind of like my, my most favorite to not like Pokemon. Can you say something in May's voice? Um, sure. I'm um, really happy to be here. And um, yeah, it's awesome here in South Texas. Great for my hair. <laughs> Too many questions. If you could end the series your way, how would you end it for Ash and everyone? If there was the ending, I would like it to be kind of like in the Bob Newhart show when he, in that uh, second series, when he woke up with his wife, Suzanne Plachette, from the first series, and it was this all this huge dream. And I would love it to end with me waking up. Uh, you know, Ash coming back with me being the voice of like, wow, what just happened? <laughs> um, I would like it to be like that. Because really, I miss being on the show so much. So, um, that's just me being selfish to come back. Yes, yeah, thank you. They know where to find me. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I have a question. I'm going to show everyone my Trickle voice. Okay. Trickle! Trickle! Get in the ball, Trickle! <laughs> nice job. We have a lot of Pokemon, great Pokemon here, yes? How did you get started as a voice actor? Um, I started acting when I was five, and um, I've been, gosh, I was always in all my school plays and a lot of workshops and anything I could do. I also played soccer, I took dance. Um, I went to college and grad school for acting. I toured the United States with several acting companies doing Shakespeare and Children's Theater and other contemporary shows. Um, I worked in TV and film in New York, and I did the Batman stunt show. So I've done tons of things like that, and um, it just happened that my first cartoon, I was recommended through an acting coach. So it kind of went there, and um, me doing mostly voice-related work coincided with me being a mother who had to be home with her kid. So um, it all kind of went together. The jobs that I do now, um, I can kind of move my schedule around. When you're in a play, you have to be rehearsing all day and you do the show all night. I couldn't do that as a single parent. Um, I also, um, you know, when you're on a soap opera, you're there sometimes for 12 hours. You, I, it was really hard for me to do things like that um, with my daughter. So it just happened that things changed for me, which was quite lucky. Now I work, probably my longest session is six to eight hours working on an audiobook. Um, but I can choose, kind of figure out when I'm going to do that. I've had some days where I've done back-to-back -back sessions 
working 10 to 4 and 4 to 10 doing audiobooks. So, but my daughter's older now, so I can do that. Um, but it all just, I've been an actor my whole life, really. Um, and all of my actor training comes into play when I work on anything. Actually, a cartoon, audiobook, commercial. Um, I was wondering if you could be on any anime besides the one you've been on, what would it be? Um, you know, as an actor, I love to work. I audition for so many things, and I want to just be on everything. Because when I prepare for an audition, I, I prepare as if I'm on the show. So I figure out who the character is. and um, So pretty much anything I can possibly do, I'd like to do. Um, I've always wanted to play a superhero, though, so I'd love to be on, I don't know, like Wonder Woman or something. <laughs> I'd love to be a superhero. Hi. Uh, who, who, um, who made the voice of, of Pikachu? The, the, the actress, um, I don't remember her name right this minute, she lives in Japan. She's the original Pikachu voice. She does Pikachu in all languages. So in Japan, you know, all the actors work on the show and then um, when it comes here, many of the voices change, but Pikachu stays the same. When it goes to Spanish or German or anything, Pikachu's voice sense remains the same. Um, she's an incredibly talented actress. We're going to have time for one last question. Okay. Hold on. Get you guys. Uh, thank you. I just wanted to embarrass my sister. She wanted to know, what do you feel about Pikachu's rapid weight loss? So I, so um, I, since we were replaced, I don't really watch the show anymore, but I have seen pictures, and I do think it's a little bit weird, um, actually, because Pikachu is so cuddly, and in a way that roundness is what makes it kind of like a baby, and so, like, I don't know, so lovable. And with it being leaner, it's kind of, um, it, it takes some of the cuteness away, I think. But Pikachu's still awesome. Let me just get these last two. What's your question? Uh, what's your opinion on the Pokemon Heroes movie? Pokemon Heroes movie. My opinion on it? Yeah, like, like what do you think of it? What's your favorite? Uh, I liked that it, there was so much water in that movie. Huh. It reminded me of Venice, so I really liked that. Um, I, I don't know. Otherwise, I liked it. I don't know anything specific about it um, that I could tell you. Latios, Latios, I like them. You and, are they? I like them. Yeah. Your last question? Yes. Um, um, since, you know, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Pokemon this year. To celebrate the 20th anniversary um, of Pokemon. What are your thoughts on the Blu-ray releases and the DVD re-releases of the first three? The first movie, 2000, and Pokemon 3, now that it's available. Uh, once again, since you know, so, so they've released the first three movies on Blu ray and DVD. Um, yeah. I think that's great, it's amazing, it doesn't affect me at all. Yeah. Um, and they kept and they kept your voices too, yeah, which is great that they haven't dumped us over. I think that's awesome. Um, that would be so sad, I didn't think that was possible, but um, I don't know if they would do that or not. But um, it's, I think it's amazing, especially because I've gone to so many conventions and met so many incredible people. The fact that I see now people who watched the show when they were kids and now their kids are watching it. <laughs> and um, it's just the true testament that all of us, that one thing that you do, that one thing that you say, you have no idea how far that can ripple out. And look, here we are, for me, 18 years after I started working on Pokemon, when I first woke up in those little ash pajamas <laughs> and to go out, we are still talking about Pokemon and how it has affected our lives. And that is amazing to me. So if it's because they've re-released a movie or now it's on Netflix or people are watching it because they still have their VHS tapes, yeah. it's an incredible thing. And I'm just so happy to be part of this discussion with all of you. So, anyway, thank you for your question. Thank you all so much for spending this time with me. Thank you very much. And I'm at my table until 3.30 before I fly home on my Charizard. Right. Thank you guys so much.